So it looks like we found ourselves somehow in Denmark. Stay tuned to find out where we really are. So as you can see behind us, we are in this town in California called Solvang. We're gonna get some breakfast, and then we're gonna take you around the town. So we enjoyed a really good breakfast at Brecky's here. It was, uh, it was so top notch. Good. So and I, you got tater tots. Yeah, I had loaded tots for breakfast, so that was pretty, pretty awesome to say the least. And Brittany had a Monte Cristo, so excellent. But we're gonna go check on the cats real quick. So we left the heat on. Uh, it's like 55 right now. It's not bad, uh, but it's gonna warm up into the 70s. So I'm gonna go turn the heat off. We had the windows open and the fan on, but get that turned off, and then we're gonna explore the town. Take you guys with us. So this is Hans Christian Andersen, and here in Solvang, they were given this. And if you guys know, this is the individual that wrote The Little Mermaid, The Ugly Ducking, Duckling, and other fairy tales. So he obviously was a Danish author, hence why the town was given this statue by the friends of the Danish community. And uh, he just sits here in this beautiful park in the middle of Solvang. And if The Little Mermaid is one of your favorite fairy tales, drop a comment below. It's one of mine. It's one of my favorites. Even though when you're a kid, it's kind of scary. <laughs> That's true. I never thought about that, but definitely. So yeah, drop a comment if uh, you're a fan of The Little Mermaid. So the reason we even came to this town was just because Neil happened to see it on a map. But it is actually known as the Danish capital of America. And it says it right down here on this rock. So behind us, is the Solvang Brewing Company and Gourmet Popcorn. And they actually have this really beautiful Danish style windmill. It is really spectacular. This whole town is. Um, I mean, every single building, restaurant, even from Subway to Domino's Pizza, is all traditional Danish style. And if you're looking for some place in town, you can stay at the Solvang Inn and Cottages with Mr. Viking in the back. It's pretty cool. So we found a bakery that we want to check out. The Mortensen's Danish Bakery. Pretty large, as you can see behind us. So we're gonna go see what we can uh, fill our bellies with. So if you're a big Christmas fanatic like I am, they have Christmas year round here at the Jewel House. I think I'm saying that right, Jewel House. But uh, we're gonna go and check it out. So we found the Solvang shoe store with the big wooden clog. I <laughs> mean, this is a big clog. Yeah, it's pretty large. <laughs> it's a little used. Yeah, a little worn. You get a discount <laughs> if you buy that one for your big foot. <laughs> Another spot, if you're not like us and traveling in an RV or van, Solvang Alasal, I think is how you say it, vacation cottages, and these are really pretty really cottages. Pretty. Brittany was just saying we're going to have to Zillow this town, yeah. see how, how much houses, we're in California, so obviously it's pricier to begin with, but like, they, even the houses here, this is somebody's house, all the traditional Danish style, and it's just, I mean, around us, all it is is beautiful flowers and architecture. I don't know we, we, if we can say this. I, we love St. Augustine. St. Augustine is beautiful, historic, but just amazing. It's where we call home base. This is close. I don't know. It doesn't like, have the ocean, though. Yeah, so like, 
This is definitely St. Augustine and Solvang, two prettiest towns we've been to in America so far. And then Santa Fe, probably up there. Yep. So probably those are our top three. Solvang, it definitely makes the list. I just found my lineup of our future vehicles. We've got a Fiat, we've got a Tesla, and we've got a Range Rover. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally the three cars we talk about getting when we settle down. Um, <laughs> except the Fiat would probably be a convertible one. Yeah. Uh, that's a random, I know, but we just saw it and we're like, oh, those are literally the three cars we are gonna buy when we settle down. Although we already have a smart car and I do really like it. Yeah, so, so smart car may replace the Fiat. Yep. We'll see though. I know that was random, but we were just walking by and it was just a weird coincidence that the three cars we talk about getting every time when we are going to eventually settle down in, I don't know, how many years from now. Who knows? We probably never will settle down. We plan on actually being in an RV even when we have kids. But, uh, you know, we are going to have to have more like of a home base for like probably three months, you know, here and there out of the year. So depending on activities for kids and things like that, sports. So, yeah, I figured we share that with you guys. So where are we, bro? Obviously, we're at a coffee shop. At the Good Seed Coffee. With these beautiful flowers hanging down on this trellis. And we're gonna go get some iced coffee, I think. Yep. Mission accomplished. We have the coffee. I, I, uh, what is it, ganache mint? Yeah, so it's chocolate mint. So chocolate mint and... Maple. Of course, Brandy gets maple, you know, that Vermont, Vermontian in her. It's, it's embedded <laughs> in my blood. We had a really great chat um, with the guy working there. I don't know if he was the owner or not, or one of them. But uh, really cool community, just friendly people and awesome coffee shop. So good seed coffee. This is the place if you want real coffee, real espresso drinks, not that Dutch Bros crap, sorry. <laughs> yes, but on that note, we're gonna get back to the van and we're gonna show you uh, some things that we purchased and then uh, go to the next location on our list of places to visit today. All right, so we made it back to the RV and I gotta show you what we got. So we went in that little Christmas store and we got these cute little clogs. It's actually a Christmas ornament, but we're gonna figure out how to add it to our collection right up here somewhere. So they'll fit up there nicely with all our goodies. And then we went to the bakery and I'm not gonna pull them out because, well, then I'll get all messy, but you can see that one's like a cinnamon roll with raisins, Danishy thing. But then underneath, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Okay, there we go. Then you can see Neil. Did you get raspberry? Raspberry Danish. A raspberry Danish. So when we eat those, we'll have to let you know how they are because they look really good. And by the way, so I don't think we actually showed this in a video yet. That's what Brittany did. She has all of our magnets and whatnot up there. Let me uh, get it so it goes to clear view there so you guys can see those a little bit better. And I can tell you that not a single one of them has fallen down. Yeah, pretty cool. So there's that. But we're going to hit the road and show you guys uh, the next spot where we end up. Well, we thought this was going to be more of a frontier town, which it is. There's a lot of buildings that have that sort of look to it, but there's not a whole lot going on. Definitely not at all compared to where we just were. So I think we're going to move on and see where we end up next. We're literally five minutes outside of town now where we didn't want to kind of hang out because it was Santa kind of boring. Yes. Santa <laughs> it wasn't <Yunez>. very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> and we found this spot is called Vista Point and this is Kachuma Lake behind us and wow 
is it beautiful <laughs> this is spectacular for sure so definitely a nice little stop to enjoy the views california there's a lot i dislike <laughs> traffic cost of fuel cost of a lot of things cost of living in yeah. general but definitely the most diverse geography wise and most beautiful state really just with the variation of everything you can get from high desert low desert ocean views here it's kind of a mix of forest high desert i don't even know what else to call it but it's just mountains all around it is absolutely beautiful So we've been around the whole country, everywhere. You know, we live in Florida, from New York, from Vermont, but we don't have Amazon Fresh. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna see what this is all about. We've seen it online, but we have no clue. By the way, we're in LA, just so you know. There's actually a huge change of plans. We'll address that here in a bit. Uh, but we're in LA and we're actually headed kind of like the Southeast, I guess? Yep. Southeast. So we'll tell you about the change of plans in a little bit. Well, Brittany's in the back eating her uh, Amazon fresh uh, salad, yep. you know, pre-made salad. I had a piece of pizza, it's only two bucks, it's a good deal. Uh, so we went in there, it's at, they actually run like a regular grocery store, but they do have the carts that auto scan when you put it in and you're signed in your account. We realized too late and I'm really bummed. Yeah, we ended up asking somebody and she gave us some answers, so it worked out uh, for us really well, it was fun. It was interesting. And the prices are good in there. Yeah, prices are actually pretty cheap. And then they have their Amazon brand. And the Amazon brand stuff's dirt cheap. And like the ketchup was like a dollar for the Amazon brand for a yeah. decent sized one. And that you can tell it's Heinz ketchup. <laughs> just with a different label. So, um, but, or I'm assuming it is. It looks like it. But uh, yeah, cool experience. Amazon Fresh for sure. Um, but we got to continue on. We got to hit the road. And then once we get where we're going, which we don't really exactly have an idea of that yet no we have a general plan we'll inform you about our change of plans once we figure out where we're staying for the evening so stay tuned well it was a long day on the road much more enjoyable than yesterday because we just took our time had like an end goal destination in, in mind for tomorrow mm -hmm. so we planned we would just pick a spot along the way as you can see i have a drink it's an adult beverage right there. Uh, it's because we are at an Elks Lodge. So many of you probably don't know, because I don't think I've ever said it. I'm an Elks member and I'm also a Freemason. So with the Elks or some Freemason lodges, uh, visiting members can stay. And this one actually happens to have a whole RV park. Yep. Uh, we discovered a lot of Elks Lodges in California have RV parks. And we were kind of stressing there for a minute. <laughs> so when I say we were stressing, it was because uh, we were looking on high overlander, uh, looking around for campgrounds, whatever we could find. And there was nothing available basically until we almost got to our destination or at least another, there was Harvest Host an hour further, but they were both closed already and we couldn't get a, get a spot for tonight. So we would have probably had to go another two plus hours and we were kind of exhausted. We had a really good, fun day. Um, and I was, we had been talking about it earlier today and we're like, wait, what about a Elks Lodge? So we looked and there was one here right in uh, Santa Clarita, California. And we had one spot left yep. in the RV park, although we could have just dry camped. Yeah, so we were planning to dry camp in the park and a lot of worse came to worse, but they actually had one spot, so we have full hookups. We can fill up our water, Yeah. get all good to go again. Yeah, so it's uh, kind of an awesome scenario for us. Um, you know, we make a donation and obviously support and visit with some of the members. I already met a nice gentleman who took us out here. He's also a visiting Elks Lodge member. So we're going to enjoy the night here um, and continue on our way to the final destination of tomorrow. If that makes sense. So I don't know if you want to tell them where we're actually going and kind of our change of plans because we've completely swapped it up. Well, we were going to San Diego and then we are going to cut over into Arizona, but we decided we don't like the traffic here in California. So we're going to Joshua Tree National Park tomorrow. We're gonna check off another national park on our bucket list. And then after that, 
We don't know. We don't we'll know. figure that out tomorrow evening because we don't even know where we're, we're going to probably stay on public land tomorrow evening because um, there's tons obviously around Joshua Tree. But we will see when the time comes tomorrow. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. The kitty cats have something to say. <laughs> see, they're right here. <laughs> well, Moon is actually eating, but <laughs> yeah, little man's looking out at us. So the cats wanted to say to give this video a big thumbs up and drop a comment below. Let us know if you've ever stayed at an Elks Lodge. We would love to know if there's any other RVers out there who are a part of this kind of exclusive club, but very well known <laughs> club at the same time. There's thousands upon thousands of members. And as always, please consider subscribing to our channel. It's just one click of a button. We would really appreciate it. We hope you guys keep following along on our journey on whatever we're doing next. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Hope you're enjoying a drink tonight. Later. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know About to see